guys and girls, it's your girl Natasha with another relationship video and this one is for those of you who have dumped someone and are not too sure what to do in relation to your ex. Here's the scenario, you've ended a relationship, you've moved on and you're not too sure if there's any etiquette in relation to the guy or girl you ended it with. Let me tell you for the record, yes, there is etiquette. Firstly, you never ever ever send pictures of you and your new squeeze with any message or pictures of you and your new squeeze to your ex. You do not update loved up profile pictures to show you rolling around with your new partner to your ex. If you've moved on, that's great. But for all you know, the other person's wounds may still actually be raw. I knew a guy who did this and the, to a girl who genuinely loved him. She told him she loved him, he ghosted her, only to emerge with a profile picture of him frolicking around with another girl. People who do this are LC. If you don't know what that means, it stands for low class. So do yourself a favor and don't brand yourself an LC kind of person. It's really not attractive. Secondly, do not rush into being friends. Now, I know I personally don't believe people can be friends with an ex. That's my view. However, if you're one of those people who is, then just remember becoming friends with your ex immediately can veer into tricky territory. Remaining civil could preserve the possibility of a friendship in future or at least continued contact with your mutual friends once things cool down. Granted, some bridges definitely need to be burnt, but taking things slow with regard to dismantling your relationship can save both people a lot of drama. Plus, if you are the one dumping, then it may just be a way to clear your conscience, which is also pretty lame. Another thing you should always remember, and this is number three, don't rush to get back together. Now, in some love stories, the guy, the girl, they get back together, and maybe you guys will, who knows? But there are exceptions to this rule, but most couples that get back together after breaking up, sorry to say, guys and girls, don't actually stay together. And people tend to be less happy in their relationships the second time round. Sometimes when a breakup gets unbearable, it seems like a good idea to do anything you can to get over the heartache. Unfortunately, chances are good that you'll then have to go through it all over again if you get back together with your ex. Number four, so it didn't work out? That can be devastating. Unless you look at your breakup as a tool for finding who and what you really want in the future, and as tacky and as annoying as I'm gonna sound to you right now, look at your split as a learning experience. Yes, I'm rolling my eyes when I say it. Every disappointment is a learning moment. When you start dating again, be sure to avoid the patterns of your last relationship. Now, you're probably sitting there and thinking, how do I do that? After the initial upset, review the dynamics of the relationship and analyze what actually went wrong. What could you have done better and what will you make sure, or quality-wise, your new future partner will not have? Lastly, do not ever stalk the person you have dumped or try and be best mates with his or her circle of friends. If you've dumped someone, you did not want them in your life. You did not perhaps seek or desire to make it work, nor did you feel that you could do more to express how you felt before you decided to end it. So why would you want to know what they're doing by liking their pictures, posts and seeing their profile updates? If you have taken the decision by yourself to end a relationship and did not talk about it like a mature adult to the other person and then just bombshell them with your decision to end the relationship, you really should leave them alone to heal and live and get on with their lives without you. Just like you decide to move on in your life without them, they have the right to move on without you. There you have it guys and girls, five things all the dumpers out there should keep in mind. If you like what you saw, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and I'll see you right back here very soon. Ciao for now.